What it do, Sharp Steaks crew? We're back. This is day 42 of not straight recaps because technically we missed a couple days. Um, I was out of province. I couldn't make any of these bets, so I just decided to take a, what is it, four-day hiatus. Um, but we're back now. We're back with what should be daily recaps for a semi-long time. Um, but we're excited about that, and we're, we're excited to walk you guys through what happened on July 19th. Let's break it down. So for those of you um, who have been telling these last couple of days without the videos, um, you should be so profitable um, over the last you know four days I haven't made videos. Um, we're looking at low profits, probably between zero to fifty dollars. But um, the algorithm still's been profitable. We've had some good days. We've had um, a couple of rough days, but overall we we still are profitable over that time frame. But looking specifically at um, yesterday, um, July nineteenth, on the slate in total we had I want to say eight plays. Um, with four futures. Some of these futures have been out for a couple days, um, but I just got back in the province today, so I placed them today, and I'm going to include them in our, our calculations. We'll get four futures placed for the Open Championship this weekend, which is going to be some great golf to watch. And we had eight plays on the slate for today, and in total, we went one for eight. We had one huge win, um, and then we had a couple bad beats. But to start, you know, we'll start with the bad beats. We'll start with the bad things. Um, Angels and Yankees. If we look here, we needed Giancarlo Stanton and Shohei Otani, one plus hits. We go to the stat sheet. Standin had a hit. Um, he actually had a home run, so that was great. And if we look at Otani, we just needed Otani to get a hit. This man didn't get a hit, but he had four walks. How is that possible, man? This guy got walked four times. It's something you don't always see. Who is pitching for the Yankees? Carlos Rodon. Okay, so he's, he's back on the injured list now. But yeah, he had five walks. Or maybe, I guess all the walks were just basically going to Otani, actually. The Yankees walked a ton of pit people um, in our batters yesterday. So, But still, four walks and no hits. That's kind of rough. So we missed out there. We just needed Otani to get a hit. He couldn't get it. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, this play probably maxed out at 20. It says 74. I think bet 365 maxed out at 20, just so you guys are aware. Um, and as well, we had Blue Jays and Padres. We had Barrios over five and a half strikeouts. We had Barrios under five and a half hits. And we had Barrios to record the win. This one I'm just going to say is a bad beat because the Blue Jays and the Padres, you know, basically had identical hits, um, hits, hit counts, and Brios pitched really well. He had a quality start. He went six innings, gave up two earned runs, and had nine strikeouts. So he had, hit that over on strikeouts prop. He hit that under on hits prop. And then we just needed him to record the win, basically needing the Jays to score some runs early on and get the win. But um, that just didn't happen. Uh, the Jays' bats just... Didn't really do anything with runners in scoring position. So, yeah, we kind of, we've been getting smoked by the Padres, which kind of stinks. But hopefully we bounce back, you know, soon enough. That was a bad beat just because, you know, Brios had a really good start and he deserved better from those Blue Jays bats. But our big win for the day would have to be this San Lorenzo to win to nil. So San Lorenzo, some Argentina, Argentina football, soccer, whatever you want to call it. Um, we had some Argentina football on the slate. And we needed San Lorenzo to win, and the other team does not score at all. And that's exactly what happened. If we go here, San Lorenzo won 2-0. Both of their goals were on penalty shots. Both of their goals were on penalty shots. Um, but nonetheless, San Lorenzo, you know, won. And it was kind of a close call because if we look at this possession, Medellin had 67% of the possession. Um, you know, they basically had twice as many passes. Um, they were doing everything. Um, from a control standpoint, however, San Lorenzo just dominated the shots and the shots on target, which was great for us. Great for us. That was a huge payout, at least for me. I think Betway maxed it out at around $35. But nonetheless, it was, a, it was a play we were telling you guys to get on. It was a big play of ours. So if you've got anywhere from, anywhere from $35 to $45 on this play, you should be seeing around $100 in return or over $65 in profit from that single play. And that was a great way to end off the day with, with a winner. If we look at our you know Excel sheet here, because we placed a ton of futures, we're looking at a you know a deficit on the day. If you don't consider the futures and we're just looking at the plays as a whole, we're right around even, right around break even, maybe a couple dollars down. Um, you know we'll we'll count the futures as losses now, um, so we can have some you know big days later on. But including the futures, we we're down about sixty dollars today. But that means we have a ton of action on the slate for this weekend for the golf. Um, and yeah, we're excited to get back in the winners circle soon. So a tough day to. You know, start another recap on with a losing day or a pretty close to losing day. But nonetheless, we're, we're, we plan on getting hot this weekend. 
we're excited to um, release more plays to you guys tomorrow. So stay tuned. Check those SMSs. We'll be back with another day soon. Peace.